Finally, the fashion is typically outrageous as the 58th annual Grammy Awards is about to get underway. Wow, wow that is Vava. Thank you. I love the new hair. Thank you. Oh, I don't have time. Sam Hunt chose a pink suit getting into LA's record-breaking temperatures. Well, one of the Grammy highlights was the tribute to Lionel Richie, who was also honored this weekend as Music Care's Person of the Year. I spoke to Lionel on the Grammy red carpet that also played host to all the Grammy stars. Oh, Belly, she's back as a coach on The Voice, which returns February 29th on NBC. And even though she's been away, she isn't skipping a beat as she once oh, again... Did you exchange any notes with Gwen when she was, she was going out? You were... Yes, we need a girl winner. It's long overdue. In tribute to David Bowie on stage, Lady Gaga channeled him on the red carpet. Still wondering how she walked in those shoes. Our style expert, Christos Garkinos, joins me now. Were you glad to see Lady Gaga bring some of the outrage? Christos, what is your thought? So, a lot of black. Who did it right? Who did it the worst? And speaking of gorgeous and sexy, Sierra gets this year's J-Lo <laughs> Award for showing the most skin. <laughs> Billy Grammy fans lit up our social media page with high praises for Taylor Swift. Donna says when Miss Taylor Swift dissed Kanye West with such class. She was ready for that moment. For then sure. Demi Lovato got a lot of love. Karen says she was amazing. She sang her heart out and she looked beautiful. Billy, not once, but twice did Sir Paul try to get in, only to be told no. Well, last night, we found out what really happened. And another big winner on Grammy night was The Weeknd with two awards, and yesterday was his 26th birthday. He's dating gorgeous model Bella Hadid, who... issues. Erica says ever since he started his relationship with Kim, he got cray cray. He needs help seriously. Kim gets blamed again? I don't think Kim is the blame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Phyllis says he's lost it, has been lost for a long time. His friends are even posting he needs mental help. What friends? All right, but Sarah says maybe he's trying to become Donald Trump's VP choice. Well, so far, Kanye has no beef with Adele, which is good. But now is not a good time to be down on Adele. Anywho, she's already feeling blue about her Grammy performance, which was marred by a technical mishap. And Adele shared her feelings with Ellen. 89 in Hollywood, as Disney premiered its latest animated film, Zootopia, Scandal star Katie Lowe's co-stars, and she held out hope that the premiere would bring her face-to-face -face with one of her castmates. And now the ladies, along with Grammy's other style stars, get a mini-me makeover, courtesy of Toddlewood. I'd say about 90% agreed with Lisa. She said, neither be gone, Kanye. Okay. Oh, I think he makes things a little exciting for everybody. <laughs> Meanwhile, Julie said he did not get where he is now by showing his sweet side, LOL. And then you have Anna, who had a whole lot to say. She says, I prefer not to see any side. There are more important people in this world making a real difference, and we choose to keep talking about this. No wonder he thinks he's Yeezy. It's our own fault. I think she meant Yeezus.
Billy, if there is any behind the scenes drama, Chris is offering up a humorous spin. Well, with Chris naming Caitlyn as her worst dress of the week, we are yes, very secretive about how the bear scene was shot. However, today we can reveal makeup secrets from a woman who Leo calls a genius. Now, a bit of a warning, it's makeup that's so realistic, portions of this story are very graphic. Well, Billy, a big turnout with 70% agreeing with Catherine, who says, Chris Jenner, no contest. But Donna writing, Caitlin, she dresses age appropriately, but not frumpy, and her clothes aren't five sizes too small. Hey, Kevin. And Jody brought up a good point. She says, it's not their style, it's their stylist, someone who gets paid to make them look good. Let's be very clear about that. Someone's pulling all of these looks. And then we have this comment from Deneen, who says, can't stand the Kardashians, so my Vote goes to Caitlyn. But now a change in tune, it just happened in his new tweets. Kanye says a wise man can admit when he's wrong and continue. All right, now to Fuller House. The Netflix series hopes to bring back the magic of the original, and Stephanie Bauer takes us to the premiere celebration. Well, there's nothing old-fashioned about the Sports Illustrated <laughs> student in the coming weeks. She's back as a coach on The Voice, which returns February 29th on NBC. And even though she's been away, she hasn't skipped a beat. Now to the premiere of Disney's latest animated film, Zootopia. Scandal star Katie Lowe's co-stars, and she held out hope that the premiere would bring her face-to-face -face with one of her castmates. For our weekly hashtag happening segment, where we talk about everything trending on social media. This week, we have two huge social stars. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. And for more of Meg, we can catch you in the movie Dance Cap, mm -hmm. where... Taylor in Atelier Versace. And now the ladies, along with Grammy's other style stars, get a mini me makeover courtesy of Toddlewood. Those little recreations are adorable. All right, let's keep the fashion conversation going. And for a recap of the highlights of celebrity fashion, I'm joined the by the two time Grammy winner, The Weeknd. He brought Gigi's sister, Bella Hadid, as his date to the ceremony. And when we caught up with Gigi, she thanked him for loving her sister. She would look good in a paper bag. All right, up next is Scott Movie Mans. He's here with his Oscar predictions ahead of next week's big award show. That's coming up next. The wait is almost over. The Oscars are next Sunday, and I think by now we pretty much know who's going to win. Or do we? Access Hollywood. That's a good pick, Scott. Thank Thanks, you. Liz. All right. Well, if you think the movie business is tough, wait till you see the music, the music business. Can't even say it. And kill your friends. Here's your first look. It has begun. StarWars.com has all the exciting updates from the set. And while we patiently wait for the December 15th, 2017 release date, we have a new classic to hold us over. Disney's Alice Through the Looking Glass. And here's your first look at the movie and Pink's cover of the iconic song, White Rabbit. Bye, everyone.